Hi, our next topic is uh, income and individual demand. Changes in income shift the individual's demand curve differently depending on the type of good. The types of goods we're thinking about here, uh, let's start with two. One is called a normal good, another is called an inferior good. A little bit down the road, we'll talk about something called luxuries as well. With a normal good, when income rises, the quantity that an individual would purchase rises as well. So what we see in this picture, the maroon demand curve is the individual's demand curve for this good when his or her income is low. And the gold demand curve is the same individual's demand curve for this good but when his or her income is high. So what you see is that an increase in income shifts the demand curve to the right. And again, that's true for a normal good. Because a normal good is one where, well, when your income goes up, the quantity you purchase of that good also goes up. With an inferior good, an increase in income shifts demand to the left. So now this diagram looks pretty similar, except that notice that the low income demand curve, the maroon one, is to the right of the higher income demand curve, the, the, uh, the gold one. So again, with an inferior good, an increase in income shifts the individual's demand curve to the left. Now intuitively, when you think about this taxonomy of goods from inferior to normal to something we'll call luxury in a minute, you could think about people trading up from inferior goods when their income rises. You know, you could think about uh, this sequence of you know, when you're really poor, you can just afford to eat grains. And when you get somewhat more well-to-do, you can afford chicken. When you get somewhat more well-to-do, you can afford steak. And I hope if you're not a vegetarian, you won't be offended by these pictures. In the transportation sphere, you might think about uh, when you don't have much income, you'd ride a bus. When you have some income, you'd have uh, this kind of cruddy-looking used car. If you had a lot of income and a taste for it, then you might buy this Mercedes-Benz. And as we move from left to right, we go from inferior to normal to luxury goods. So a few quick takeaways. First of all, changes in income give rise to shifts of the demand curve. And that's in contrast to those changes in price earlier that gave rise to movements along. Here, changes in income give rise to shifts. The next point is that what we define as a normal good is one where when income rises, the consumption of the good also rises. Finally, an inferior good is one where, when income rises, consumption of the good declines.